Aloha and welcome to Goddess Unleashed. On this episode, we're bringing in the new year with cheer. This is actually being recorded, obviously, the week before New Year's, because I am recording it right after my birthday, right before Christmas, to really bring in the new year and fun and joy in 2021. So we all have had a stressful 2020, regardless of what is happening um, in your uh, life. COVID-19 has made it stressful, add it to everything else that is happening, and it was likely highly stressful, especially for someone like me who experienced PTSD and was working through those challenging experiences in the middle of COVID-19. Hopefully this episode is going to be a lot of fun. I do invite you, if you're listening on the radio, that you're going to want to join Unleash Your Inner Strength to actually see the video or check out my YouTube channel, Goddess Unleashed, so you can watch it on video because it's going to be very different from any of the other episodes that I've had before. So I'm going to be changing scenes, changing locations throughout, and doing some silly, silly fun things with my wigs. So one of the things that you may not realize is that I wear wigs all the time when I'm teaching because it's very empowering. It lifts me up. It makes me feel good about myself, especially since when I was 15 to 18, I lost my hair as I was working through um, that stress of PTSD. And I didn't really know why my hair was falling out, but that's exactly why it ended up falling out back then. So I like to wear wigs because some of that hair I'm never going to get back and the wigs make me feel good. So for the first time ever, I actually wore a wig on Monday, which was my birthday, December 21st, with my family. So they've seen me sometimes when they've seen videos of me, um, but they've never actually seen me wear a wig outdoors. And I haven't actually gone to a restaurant before with a wig. So this was the first for that. And some of my family thought it was kind of funny. Um, but it ended up being pretty fun and we had a nice um, dinner after with that wig. But in order to start our year off with cheer, I'm going to give you the power of five. It's the rule of five and we're going to practice this with different strategies throughout this episode. Things that you can take back into your life and help you relieve stress in those moments where you feel triggered, where you feel overwhelmed. So you can shift the way you feel and really tap into your own unique healing potential by using the power of five. I want you to remember you're going to love always, you're going to laugh often, you're going to live with gratitude, you're going to kick off your shoes and dance, and you're going to remember to breathe deeply and ground yourself. Those are five tips that I gave you right now using the power of five. Now, the first thing we're going to do, um, and I love this room that I have picked to do this in, this is my parents' room. And we all love the ocean. I was raised by the ocean. Um, so for me to come to the Keys house and enjoy some quiet time is simply a very easy way to tap into my relaxation. And behind me, there's a pillow that says, together by the sea is where I long to be. And I absolutely love being by the sea with my family. So I'm glad that I have this little space to relax and unwind. But maybe you don't have that space. So finding a space within your environment, within your home, within your workplace, that can really help you separate yourself from whatever is stressing you out is a great way for you to empower yourself to get into that power of five and then use the strategies in that place. One of the things that I used to do uh, when I was working at the hospital is I would go outdoors. So I would either sit by a fountain, sit by a little meditation garden outdoors, or I would go down to the lake and do my relaxation self-love activities there. So I invite you to try that. Before you even tap into the power of five, find that place that will help center and calm you. Now, if you have absolutely no place there, there's no place to hide, there's no place to escape, and you need to find a place usually the easiest place to get some quiet time is in the bathroom and if that's the only place you have then go ahead and do that i used to do that too i used to put in my earbuds and do my meditations there sometimes when i can find a quiet space especially if i was working in a fast-paced emergency room and sometimes you don't get quite that many breaks then tap into that and use your five minutes to relax 
and take a little bit of extra time for yourself um, after you do what you need to do and wash your hands, do some relaxation and tap into the power of five in that moment. Now, the other thing that's gonna happen on this episode is there are alarms set up for me to test myself and do things that are out of my comfort zone, things that I like to do in private, but I don't always do on camera. And that is why this episode is only available to people that are in my classes already or that are subscribed to my channel or in Unleash Your Inner Strength. So the first thing we're gonna do is using the power of five to shift our relationships in 2021. So maybe there is a particular person that you absolutely love, but every time that you make a phone call to them, they bring you down. It maybe is a Debbie Downer, a negative Nancy, um, could be a man, but I can't come up with any, <laughs> any words at this moment. Uh, sad Sam, I don't know. It doesn't matter who the person is, what their name is. The whole point is that they bring you down. That you notice that you were feeling kind of okay, you were feeling happy, you were energized, you were ready into your day, and the moment you picked up that phone call, um, things shifted and you don't feel quite as happy as before. So what I invite you to do is start to create these boundaries for yourself using the power of five and trying to shift that relationship in 2021. So what does that mean? What does that entail? The thing that you can try on this conversation is say, you know what? Sometimes I feel cranky and sad when I talk to you. So I heard this on the radio and I want to try it out to see if it shifts things for us. Maybe it'll make you feel better. Maybe it'll make me feel better. But let's try it. How do you feel about that? I guarantee you that if they've had a stressful 2020 just like you did, they're going to want to shift things too and they're going to want to try it because you never know. Maybe it'll help, right? So the first thing you're going to do is that was your first step. You just kind of created a boundary. You told them that you are uncomfortable when you have conversations. You can kind of feel grumpy or sad. And that was the first step. Now we're going to use five wins. You're going to tell them, I'm going to speak now and I'm going to tell you five amazing things that I accomplished over 2020 or in this past week, whatever time frame you want for yourself. Just say five things, five things that you are proud of. And then you set it up for them. Now it's their turn to say five things that they are proud of. And that will slowly start to help you change the way you feel. And I invite you to notice your body when you're saying these things, when you're using positive words, when you're hearing positive words from them and good goals, how you feel different simply by shifting that one thing. Now the next thing you're gonna do for each other before you um, hang up this call is you're gonna do five positive statements about the person. Now on a prior episode, I gave you a letter. Now I want to invite you to actually pick your own letter. Allow whatever letter comes to your mind. But there are gonna be five words with that same letter. So if the letter L pops into your head, then use the letter L. If the letter S pops into your head, then use that letter. Whatever letter, just pick five words. Maybe you need to use your phone. Sometimes all five words don't come to you. Maybe you only get three. I know I've gotten stuck before and it's absolutely fine. And we're not gonna go through this activity in a very silly way in a moment, but I'm just giving you the rules so that when you have this conversation with this ex person that you want to set new boundaries with, you know exactly what you're gonna do. And maybe you wanna plan it out before. Maybe you wanna write down those five words so you don't have to think about them in the moment and that's perfectly fine. And then give them the opportunity to do the same for you. They're gonna give five words about you that are positive, uplifting, and notice how you feel in your body. Really pay attention to what you feel in your heart and notice how energized you feel after you hang up this phone call. Now, the last thing before you hang up the call, you want to set up five goals. Remember, this is the power of five, five, five. You know, I teach the five, five, five breath, so everything is about the power of five. Five things that you want to accomplish within the first month of 2021. Maybe you want to make the last goal something that you're gonna have by the end of the year and that's fine, but I definitely want you to think of some goals, some simple things that will help empower you to feel like 2021 is going differently from 2020. So some of the things that you can incorporate into your day um, 
that will help empower you could be some of the things that I've, I've shared on other episodes. Maybe it's you're going to start doing meditations. Um, maybe it is that you're going to take yourself a five-minute break every day in the middle of the day and do some deep breathing. But it's five simple things that you can do to shift the way you feel in 2021 and then make that last one a real goal. Something that you want to accomplish because you're using these strategies now for yourself. And that is as easy as it is. So that is your rule of five phone call for that person that makes you stressed out or anxious. And I'm sure that by now you have thought of a few that make you feel stressed out or anxious. I know I've had many confrontations over the past few weeks as I've been working through my PTSD and um, recognizing how I allow other people to control the way I feel because it's just simply something that was ingrained in my physical body, my subconscious and my reality because of what I was working through and creating these boundaries has helped me realize where I can shift things and there is my alarm. So that means it is time to actually do this activity. So I'll be back in a moment and we're gonna do this phone call. All right, it's time for this conversation, the power of five. And right now, if you are watching, then you see I have changed my wig and I'm currently wearing a blonde wig, wig which means that I am, am Debbie Downer. I am Debbie Downer right now and I'm calling my friend Diane and we're gonna have a conversation, but Diane is gonna shift things on me and she's gonna use this power of five that I have never heard of. Hey Diane, how are you doing? Yeah, you know, I've had such a rough week. It's been so crappy. I have been overwhelmed. What? All right. I'll try it. If you think it'll help me feel better. All right, but I have no idea what we're doing. So can you go first? All right, sounds cool. All right, Debbie. So one of my uh, coaches that I follow on the radio, she did this strategy and I want to try it out because I really feel like when we talk, sometimes you make me feel really down and upset. And I know it's just because you have a lot going on, but I think this will help shift the way you feel and it'll help me too. And we can continue to do this and empower ourselves to do more, right? And feel better every day. How does that sound? Good. Okay. So the first thing she said to do is five wins. We got to do five wins, five compliments, and five goals. So I'm going to do my five wins first and then you can go. Okay. All right, five wins. I set a boundary with a family member. I told my parents about my trauma. I wrote a new kid's book this week. I started teaching orgasmic meditation. And my last one, hmm. I'm enjoying my vacation and letting go. Now it's your turn. All right, I got one. Well, I got five. I spoke up for myself with my boss, told her how it was going to be in, um, in a project. So I was pretty happy about that. I, I did something unique. I wore an outfit the other day that I wasn't sure about and I really liked how I looked in it and I felt good about it. Um, oh, I had some fun with my, my son this weekend. I'm really active, relaxed and laid back and we enjoyed looking at the clouds and that was so much fun. Um, I also recognize somewhere that I need to set a boundary. So I think this activity is gonna help me do that. And number five, I did something that you taught me the other day. I actually practiced self-love. And I did that massage on my face before my meditation, and it felt so awesome. Okay, so the next one is the five compliments, and I don't understand that one. So I'm going to let you go first. All right, yes, the five compliments. 
So I'm going to come up with the letter S. And when it's your turn, you pick a letter, whatever letter. If you want to go with another letter, that's fine. I'm going to say you are sassy. You are silly. You are sexy. Sophisticated. Super. And scintillating. I think those are all good words to describe you. Now you go. All right, so I'm gonna pick the letter L. And I would say, Diane, you're loving, lovable, likable, lighthearted, limber, because you're so flexible. When I've seen you do your stretches and your dance class, you're so flexible. And let's say luscious for number five. But I really say the loving because I think that the way that you teach is really with your heart and you really, really want to help people. So I'd say that's my favorite one. So what's the next thing? we got to do goals. Okay. You go first. All right. Yeah. So it's five goals. Um, so five goals for me for 2021. Number one is to actually listen to my alarms when they go off and make a live video daring myself to do whatever it is on that alarm. Number two is to call five people every week. So I've been avoiding making phone calls since this whole quarantine. Number three is to record videos every week for my classes. Number four is to have fun with Lucas every day. And number five is to use creativity and art on a regular basis and share it on my kids' channel. Cool. All right, Diane, those were a lot of goals, like really, really difficult goals. I'm gonna make mine easy because I haven't been doing so much self-love stuff. And I think I need to practice some of the stuff that you've taught me. So I'm gonna do a phone call like this every week with a girlfriend. So I think that'll help me shift the way I feel. Number two, I am going to attend a dance release class with you once a week. Number three, I'm going to do my meditation every morning before I get out of bed. Yes, I really like the beautiful blue one that you came up with a few weeks ago, so I'm going to start using that one every day. Number four, I'd say I'm going to stretch because I know you told me that stretching is so important. And I have some pain areas, so I'm going to really focus on stretching those areas several times a week. And number five, let's think of a goal for the end of the year. I would say I'm going to write my first book. That sounds good. Debbie, I think that was awesome. I think all of those goals were really good. I'll be excited for you to be in some of my classes. Um, I actually am recording one today that is a part of an orgasmic meditation class, and it's a dance class. So I think that would be a great one for you to watch, and it'll help get me out of my pain. Yeah, I've been a little scared to do it and to actually record the video. So if you're in the class with me, that would be up now. Awesome. All right, well, I'll talk to you later, okay? Bye. So that was the phone call. Now it's your challenge to actually tap into that phone call and use the power of five to shift your 2021. Now we're gonna go on a brief break for this episode and I'm gonna come back and do some unique things. So I do invite you to come back in and see what silly things I did. Again, if you haven't checked out my YouTube channel, go ahead and do that. And if you haven't joined and you share your strength and you're on Facebook, join there so you can check out the video. This is Diane Vick. Aloha.
See you soon. And make sure you keep tapping into your natural healing potential and being positive in 2021. Aloha. Aloha and welcome back. And on this part of the episode, we're going to tap into how can we use these strategies within our day to stop ourselves from getting stuck in this overwhelming cycle where our stress continues to pile up on us and create some self-loving routines in our environment all around our house to help us relieve stress. So if you watched the last episode or listened to the last episode, I walked around my house in Miami going through different affirmations and things that I have around the walls to help me tap into this natural healing potential that we all have and shifting that mindset, that negative Nancy, that negative norm that pops into our heads simply by using the things around us in our environment. So if you're watching, you know that I'm wearing this shirt that says make it shine. So today is all about making it shine and making us be cheerful and happy in 2021, regardless of everything that's happening around us so that we can begin to evolve and manifest the dreams that we desire in life. So the first thing that you can do if you come across something in your house, let's say it's an album or a book or some affirmations that are around the house, I invite you that when you notice something that you actually stop and give it a moment, whether it's five minutes, whether it's two minutes, it doesn't matter, but it will help shift the way you feel and help you appreciate the things that you have that are beautiful around you. So the first thing I'm gonna do is actually look at a book that I read very often and I think I've shared before, I've read this book before on this episode, but it has affirmations. Or when I'm using self-love for myself, I tell you that I tap into healing the body by incorporating affirmations with physical activities. So one of the things that I'm gonna do now is do tapping. So if you've watched my episodes or listened to me on the radio before, you know that when I was 15 years old, between 15 and 18, I lost a lot of hair. I had a condition called Helenium effluvium. I think I pronounced it right, I'm not sure. But basically my hair follicles um, began to shed. They eventually died and that hair follicle will never go back which is why I like wearing wigs, because to me, they make me look like that 15-year-old girl that had beautiful, luscious hair and make me feel confident about myself. So let's use the affirmations to actually do tapping on my scalp, which is for me, the area of my body that is the weakest. So I've been going through this health journey, releasing pain and symptoms from all my body but the one area where I still get symptoms sometimes is headaches and some scalp tenderness. So I've been using tapping on that specific area. So if you've ever heard of EFT, usually people use tapping and affirmations to help empower them to do things. And there's a specific way to do tapping and you can check it out on Pinterest, there's stuff on Google. Um, but this is basically something I've figured out on my own that you can use uh, tapping on the crown of your head to help calm your nervous system and boost your immune system, combining it with an affirmation. So I really like uh, one of the affirmations in here, and this one is for health. The book is The Game of Life and How to Play It by Florence Scovel Shin, and I have them highlighted. So whenever I come across this book, I actually stop myself and read each affirmation several times, and if there's one that I feel particularly stressed about or um, I notice that I have symptoms in my body, then I'll stay on that one a little bit longer. So we're going to go into the one that is for health. And it says, divine love floods my consciousness with health and every cell in my body is filled with light. When you're doing this, you want to take in deep breaths. So you don't always breathe deeply. Remember, my breath is the power of five. Inhale for a count of five. Hold your breath for a count of five and then exhale slowly for a count of five. It's a very, very deep breath, very calming, very relaxing. So we're gonna go ahead and tap from your third eye, which is in the middle of your forehead, all the way up the crown of the head, all the way down to your cervical spine, and read this affirmation one more time. Divine love floods my consciousness with health and every cell in my body is filled with light. Now, of course, when I am doing this, I am reading it um, in my head, I'm not saying it outside, <laughs> you can't hear it, 
and I'm doing the deep breathing. So this time I'm gonna do deep breaths just so you can tap into that silence and do some deep breathing in and out through your nose, out through your mouth. So breathe in deeply, out through your mouth. One more time, tapping from the third eye all the way up. And you would be reading your affirmation. So that's one simple strategy that you can incorporate into your day when you see an affirmation or a book or something that helps you relax and you really, really want to tap into. What's something else you can do to bring joy to your day? Maybe you're having a grumpy day and you really need a pick me up and you come across an album. So we all have albums around our house. Maybe it's albums from our childhood. Maybe it's albums from an amazing trip that you recently had. Um, this one is from 2015. So we went to the British Virgin Islands. It's my absolute favorite trip um, that I've experienced besides Hawaii, because I do, do love Hawaii, even though I was a little stressed there. But BVI was um, just a simple trip with my parents and my kids on a sailboat traveling with BVI. So let me open up to a page and see what memories I remember from that day and what emotions come up. So again, we're going to come up with five emotions that you experience just by looking at this page. And then I'll show you what the page is. Love laughter kindness relaxation freedom now the words don't all have to start with the same letter like before we're just simply going with whatever your gut tells you whatever you really experienced in that moment and i'm going to show you what the pictures are so the first one is a lionfish there's a lionfish in the corner and my oldest son is underwater looking at us with his mask on and snorkel sitting at the bottom of the water. And then there is a beautiful scene in one of the hotels around the BBI. The top corner is my mom relaxing and enjoying herself on the sailboat. And the bottom picture is my little guy. So right now he's skinny, skinny Lucas. And he used to be chubby Lucas and he was absolutely yummy. So it brings a lot of joy to me to see him and he was this little adorable baby chubby toddler. Um, let's see, one more picture. Okay, let's think of five words. Fun. Grandpa. Nature. Relaxation. Freedom. So traveling like this really reminds me of having freedom and relaxing and letting go. And all of these scenes are off of the sailboat, swimming in the water, um, just enjoying ourselves. So it really was a relaxing vacation. Um, one of the pictures, it's my son inside the cave. You can hardly see him, but he's here in the corner with his mask and snorkel on, relaxing in the cave. So that's a good thing that you can do anytime. If you're feeling a little bit stressed out and overwhelmed, to look at an old album. Uh, maybe you're having a tough time with a specific family member and you have a family album of something in the past with them. And probably to take a moment to look at that album and come up with five positive statements about that particular experience and notice how it shifts the way you feel in that moment. Now, the other thing I love to do is dance. And I dance all the time. And I'm gonna go ahead and do a little bit of a dance here and see what I can help you incorporate into your dance routine to help you relieve stress. So if you use the power of music, if you have a song that you enjoy, if you're creating this playlist that I told you about that really shifts your emotions, you can also incorporate breathing into that activity to help shift things much quicker for you. And using specific movements actually helps get emotions out of your body. So if you've ever done a figure eight with your hips, it is a great way to get emotions that are trapped in your pelvis out. Now, some people may 
not know how to do a figure eight. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now. All right, so figure eight, you're standing up straight and you're simply moving your hips in a figure eight motion. So your right hip goes to the front, your right hip goes to the back. Left hip goes to the front, left hip goes to the back. And you just go with the flow of the beat. Usually this is a very good move that you can do with Latin songs. So I use a lot of songs from Maluma and I like dancing or Pitbull. Those are great songs to uh, use this with. Shakira is a great one too. Um, Jennifer Lopez, any of those work. So now as you're doing the figure eights, you're gonna do a breath of fire. So I've done this before on the podcast, I believe. Breath of fire is some rapid breaths in and out. And it's a great way of letting go of emotions from your body by combining your breath and movement. Now I've told you before, I do dance release, I do vocal release, and I do breathing. So this is a little bit of a combination of them. So you will be doing the breath, and in between you can sing parts of the song that you enjoy or that really empower you. So I'm just gonna go ahead and do one breath of fry, fire in and out really fast. Now, if you're watching, you can tell that I was still moving my hips. If you're listening, you just heard the noises, but I was basically doing the breath of fire to release emotions. And that is something that you can do anytime, anywhere. Now, the other thing is, I believe self-love and self-care can happen anytime in your house. Anything that you are doing, it can be incorporated all the time. So I like to listen to music, which I actually have my earbud in right now, and I am listening to Mama Cita on my uh, Spotify, and I'm folding clothes. You can actually enjoy dancing, doing that figure eight, doing the breathing, having a little bit of fun while you're doing something boring but you don't like to do. I particularly do not like laundry. So for me, this makes it a lot more fun. And we are just going with the beat of the song, folding clothes. And you can do this when you're cooking, when you are baking, using music to help bring you joy in those monotonous things that you have to do every, every single day. All right, like I said, the power of music in different um, things that you do routinely around your house really does shift things. So right now, you know, I'm wearing this Make It, sun sh Make it Shine shirt. I'm actually listening to a song, Walking on Sunshine, and I'm getting ready to bake holiday cookies, which is something that really taps into things from my past, things from my childhood that I loved, loved to do that were really, really relaxing, um, that I love to do with my kids too and I will be doing later with my son. So one of the things that we decided this holiday is that my son um, decided he wanted to invent his own kind of cookies and he is going to bake them for school. And we're really excited to be making this video together because we do it every once in a while in my group Unleash Your Inner Strength where we bake my famous cookies, which I usually send to my clients. Um, but we're working on actually making cookies and selling them in our local area these are delicious paleo cookies, low in sugar, healthy for the brain, good nutritious food that we can use in our day to have a treat, but not feel so guilty when we're eating them. So the cookies I'm gonna make right now are uh, the double chocolate cookies, which are my son Lucas's invention. And they are delicious double, cho double chocolate chip cookies. And he calls them new moon cookies, which for me is very exciting because if you know, I was born on December 21st and we just went through a very unique experience on the 21st. If you looked outside and looked at the moon where Saturn and Jupiter um, actually were right next to each other for the first time. And I think it was like in 800 years and it won't happen again, like exactly like this for another 800 years. But they said in 20 years, it'll be pretty close to this. Um, so that day was very, very special to me. And for some reason, he's been talking about moons for a while. 
who didn't even know about this happening on my birthday. So he's very excited that that happened and he's created these cookies and this is the mix. So using music as you are doing activities in your house helps shift the way you feel in the moment and gets you out of that mundane routine that we have. Another thing that you can use is actually buy yourself something that will help you feel, feel good in the moment. Um, so I actually found this at the dollar store. It is a little cup. It says it is my birthday month and I've been drinking my breakfast orange juice or my water um, using this cup. At home, I have different ones. I have uh, a wine glass that I drink my eggnog in and that one is queen of the month, birthday queen, something like that. And then I have a cup that I use for my tea which says queen of everything, which my girlfriend at work at the hospital gave it to me and I absolutely love using that cup. So I invite you to find something, something like that that's meaningful for you that you can use during your day and actually take a moment to honor it and pay attention to what it says and take in a deep breath and feel those happy feelings from that maybe that day that you bought it for yourself. That is the oven that is ready to go. And I'm going to go ahead and start mixing this. So right here in this bowl, I have eggs. And this is the pre-mixed homemade baking um, ingredients for his famous cookies. And I am listening to Katy Perry's song, Smile, in my ear. And it's really a powerful song. Um, definitely did get my smile back. I am definitely remodeled and realize that it is so powerful when we shift these thoughts in our mind using some of the strategies that I taught you today and starting that new year with cheer and joy. I am grateful for everything that has happened in my life to get me to this point to show you that you can shift the way you feel in the moment by using self-loving strategies in your routine, no matter what you're doing and get that smile back so that you have a cheerful 2021. I'm so grateful. I'm dancing. You can't see me unless you're watching. From a mile. I got back that smile. I'm so grateful. Doesn't finally, doesn't finally smile. I'm gonna add the butter into this mix. It's so much fun to bake with the kids. It really is fun for me to tap into my childhood and bake with my kids. And I'm excited to be making these boxes. So I'm making these boxes for women in my family, sharing the cookies and actually sharing some of the things that I am using in the kids gift boxes. So if you have been watching my episodes, I am getting ready to start a nonprofit. The hope is that I started in 2021 to help children with special needs or children that have experienced some kind of a hardship in their life or in 2020 during this quarantine that has been extra stressful but really the box is is dedicated more to something closest to my heart um, which is children with special needs and that's where it started and there's one particular child in my family that i am going to give this box to um, which has some of the strategies that i use for myself to tackle the stress and the inflammation that's happening um, when you feel like you're hopeless, you're hopeless, you're alone. And especially those that are nonverbal really have a hard time expressing what they are feeling and letting people know how they feel. Um, and I recognized I was not nonverbal, so I could speak, but I chose not to speak and not to tell people what I was experiencing. And that created a lot of stress in my body. So I know exactly what this particular child is going through. And I'm excited to give him this box and actually do the strategies with him and to create these boxes for other children that have come to me 
over the past few weeks that I've had a rough ride in 2020. So I have um, some families that have been dealing with domestic violence. I have other kids that are just highly stressed um, and I'm creating some boxes for the family unit to really uh, create a bonding experience using affirmations. My goal is in 2021 to add more things to the box as I get more donations. So I do invite you to give a donation. If you give a donation, uh, you will get access to this video as well just simply as a gift from me. And likely I'll give you one of my classes also, but it's really about me giving back. It's about me helping kids deal with the stress in the moment and create something that they can use and know that they have this little tool, this little strategy to pump them up and help them feel better during times of stress. Um, and it has a lot of art activities. It's gonna have music and it's gonna be a lot of fun as I guide kids into using these tools inside the box. And one of the things that I am going to do with them is baking. So they won't be baking these specific cookies, but they will be baking some um, gluten-free cookies. As you know, I'm all about feeding the body right. And it does have also inside the box um, some art projects, going to have some affirmations, something that pumps you up. And that's kind of what I'm doing for my family. So the women in the family are getting affirmations, they're getting candles, and they're getting these cookies, these yummy cookies, to help them tap into their own unique um, healing powers through the holidays. And I'm spreading love through these cookies. So when I used to work in the hospital, that was one of the things that I absolutely loved to do. And I was known for in the holidays, um, when I was working bedside in the pediatric emergency room was I would bake cookies. Now I wouldn't bake these cookies. I baked um, some unhealthy cookies because back then I wasn't eating the most healthy food, but they were delicious cookies and everybody loved them. So now I'm making the healthy version of the cookies and sharing it with my family and going to start this little side business, a side shovel with my son, who's excited to make cookies and also excited to make children's books, um, which this past week, I wrote a new one and getting ready to make the art for that new book so that I can publish it in 2021. But it's really about helping children calm their nervous system, boost their immune system um, using the strategies that are in this box. So I'm excited to do that. And we're getting ready to close off this episode. So I hope I brought you some inspiration, some things that you can use in your day to shift the way you feel. Uh, some strategies that you can use to shift that phone call that tends to make you sad, upset, overwhelmed, or frustrated by empowering you to use one of those strategies or all those strategies on that call. It was a little bit of a silly podcast and I am definitely silly and unique and I hope that it brought you some joy and if you were watching that it made you laugh. Um, eventually I will be doing more jokes and being extra silly because there were some very funny things that happened on uh, on my birthday that might have been upsetting but when you're in a happy place when you use these strategies and you realize that they work it helps you see things in a new light um, so one of the things that happened I'll tell you before we close off is on my birthday when we arrived at the restaurant they had given away my table and usually I am not the kind of person that speaks up I simply go with the flow and just wait outside and not complain I don't like complaining but this is my birthday. So I went and I told the lady, well, it's not convenient if you sit us in two separate tables because it is my birthday. Um, so they were like, oh, it is. So they gave me, give me a minute. And they, they worked it out so that we can sit where we were orig originally supposed to sit and combine these tables. So as I sit down on the tables, you know, we're in the middle of this quarantine, right? And a lot of restaurants that are small, they sometimes have signs on the table that say no. Like nobody can sit in this table. So they combined a no table and two yes tables together to make my table uh, to meet the requirements of the county. And we sat down and I was laughing when I was talking to my nephew who's sitting in front of me and we were making a joke about it. And I was like, oh, we're on the no table. It's my birthday and I'm on the no table. And I said, let's change this. And I put down the sign flipped it over. I said, now we are on the on table because we are on, on a nice dinner with my family having fun. And we changed it. We changed that negative thing into something funny and silly. And I invite you to try that. 
next time you get a little resistance, next time you get a little obstacle in your way, try to make fun of it in the moment and live in that joy and cheer in 2021. This is Diane Vick. I hope you enjoyed this unique episode. Definitely check me out on Facebook or YouTube so you can check out these videos. I hope you have a beautiful new year and let's see what the next podcast episode will bring. But there are definitely some exciting things coming up. I do want to teach uh, some orgasmic meditation and share some of the insights from that class or share some insights from my seven day stress cleanse. Um, so we'll see what the next episode brings, but I hope you guys have a fabulous 2021. Remember to make it shine and bring a big smile to your face every day by shifting those negative thoughts. This is Diane Vick. Aloha.